Hey everyone, in this video we'll be covering how to use the Appearance Editor in Character Creator 2.0 to tweak the material color and PBR effects by using the substance parameters. In our tutorial titled Non-PBR to PBR Material Conversion, you learned all about how to switch the material shader in order to change traditional CC content into PBR compatible content. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the new PBR Appearance Editor to edit traditional content using the newly developed PBR substance in order to use the procedural parameter sliders to further tweak the material look, giving you unlimited possibilities for your materials. Right now on the screen I have a character that contains materials exclusively with the traditional shader mode. The skin templates used are the non-PBR ones that can be found in the Character Creator content library. The cat suit here can be found in the full body folder of the clothing section. It's part of the Professional Outfits Pack, available for separate purchase from the Content Store. Okay, so let's take a look at the new PBR Compatible Appearance Editor for Character Creator 2.0. With the outfit selected, we can go to the Appearance tab in the Modify window. Then we want to select the updated PBR substances from the Substance Selection menu for both the upper and the lower. In this case, we already know what the material numbers are, and we'll have a separate tutorial that explains a bit more about this. From there, we'll just go up and activate the Appearance Editor for both items of clothing. If you don't know how many materials are required, there will be a loading screen which will come up with an Optimize option. Just choose that and it will automatically select the most efficient substance material number in order to avoid using unnecessary system resources. You can see that the shading system selected is physically based. All the other Color ID materials are also flattened into the base material. Let's select the Catsuit base, then go into the Tweak section. This is where you're able to use a variety of parameter sliders to really tweak the substance to your own ideal settings. I'm just going to enter in some preset values in each different field in order to tweak the appearance closer to the shiny outfit that we saw at the beginning of this video. You can adjust simple values such as the hue and the saturation in order to change the color of your clothing. Normal intensity will create a bit more of a noticeable shading effect on the seams. You can use the values under the Emissive section in order to create a unique and ethereal sort of glow to your clothing. In this case, you can see that although the material color itself is a bluish hue, I'm creating a sort of magenta glow off the material to create a really interesting effect. I'll set them all back to regular values for now and move on to the metallic and roughness values. You can adjust the metallic luminosity first in order to make it appear more metallic and then use the roughness slider to refine it further. Let's adjust the upper to match now. I'll enter in the same color and luminosity values first, then move on to the PBR parameters of metallic and roughness. Note that a high metallic value can overwrite the color since it's mostly reflective. So let's bring it back a little more to give it a more of a bluish reflection by inversely adjusting the luminosity of the roughness slider. Once you're finished, you can rotate the IBL source by using the Control shift i command and use your mouse to move the gizmo. Notice that now in the Materials section, the shader mode has been changed to PBR, and you can see the Allegorithmic thumbnail in the texture channels, indicating that you can adjust the procedural parameters that we saw earlier. There is also metallic and roughness channels as opposed to specular and reflection. Finally, let's move on to the skin. You can see when I select the materials for the skin head and skin body that they are currently also set to the traditional shader mode. So let's go back into the appearance editor and just load up the two materials together. PBR Basic is a small update on the original skin substance in order to give it PBR texture channels. That's about all there is to it. With the ability to customize the PBR-enabled procedural substance materials, there are quite literally endless combinations of surface appearances that you can achieve on both character skin and clothing. 